I'm going to start off by saying that I am not an atheist. But there's this argument that keeps floating around that, that really annoys me because the absurdity of the statement alone is, is a fucking joke. It really, really is. And the argument goes something like this. Science can't explain everything, so I'm going to stick with whatever I believe in because that's probably right because science doesn't know everything. Well, I'm a religious person, but I am also a scientist. A scientist in the very basic definition of the word, someone who studies science. I love studying science. There are so many fascinating things you get to learn about, and it's all real and proven. Um, some of it's hypothetical, um, but those aren't labeled as facts, and they're not generally forced on anyone. There's people who are very uh, outgoing and who, who, who take it a little too far, but... If I say, well, I have a hypothesis versus I have a theory, well, those are two different things. When you have a theory, you've already demonstrated through many, many examples. Um, you've made predictable outcomes, as in you can say, under these conditions, I know this, this, and this are going to happen, and then demonstrate that they actually happen under those conditions. That's how science works. It's you know, here's an experiment, let's see what happens, you record the data, someone else takes that exact same experiment and sees if they can get the exact same results. People will go over and over and over data and information and they build upon build upon build. Now, in the last thousand, thousand years, okay, last thousand to two thousand years, religion has given us nothing. Religion hasn't moved society forward in any way, shape, or form, and in many cases, they have worked us backwards. Okay, for example, um, one of the stories I came across uh, this weekend was that uh, because of The Amazing Atheist, he made me aware of this state, Arizona, is trying to pass a law that would make the point um, of, uh, of the beginning of life be before a woman could even possibly have met her mate, the parents. The parents may not have even met each other by the time that they're considering um, the fetus to be a person. And you might be thinking, uh, what the hell is he talking about? How can you be a person before your parents even meet? Well, see, here's the thing. They're trying to pass a law in Arizona right now that says that um, life begins when the woman stops having her menstrual cycle. Think about how fucking stupid that is. I mean, seriously, uh, she's not even. There's no even evidence that she's even that that she uh, the egg has even been fertilized. Okay, there's no there's no uh, conception, but a person still possibly exists. So if a woman then goes back onto her period, what she's she's murdered somebody? Are, are you kidding me? This this is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So these laws are actually working us backwards as as to you know human rights, how we should treat each other, and everything. Now that set aside, let's look at some of the facts. Um, uh, let's go back to that original statement. Science can't prove everything. Therefore, I'm going to stick to my religious beliefs, and you can't disprove my religion. No, but they don't need to. The, those who are, the burden of proof is on those who assert. So if you assert that there's a God, or you assert that your religious beliefs are right, and therefore you have the right to impose those religious beliefs on others, then what's to stop other people from imposing their religious views on you? If you have that right, they have that right. So if you have the religious view that um, no one should have an abortion, no one should be allowed to have an abortion because all life is sacred, blah, 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 whatever, then Muslims can have the right to say, well, everyone who doesn't believe our religion needs to die because that's they're going against our religion. See, if you can say something, so can somebody else. Now, you can say, well, their religion has more holes in it than mine does, well, that's bullshit, because you you don't see the holes in your religion, okay? You But you'll see everything you think is a hole in their religion. I can point holes in any religion. You show me a religion, I can show you holes in it, including my own. Um, 
but I don't assert my religious beliefs on other people. That's the difference. That's the key. Now, here's the thing. Um, if that's the logic you're going to go by, that you're going to stick by your religious beliefs and that sticking to prayer as opposed to actually taking your child to the hospital. Now, I understand if you don't believe in vaccinations for whatever reason. I don't believe in vaccinations. I don't believe in drugs of any sort or kind. I've never even been drunk. Okay? I don't take aspirin. I don't take Tylenol. I don't even use Listerine anymore. That being said, Okay, if you don't believe in those things for a variety of different reasons, that's one thing. But to say, well, God will cure me. Or that, you know, the Bible says this, so I only believe in the Bible. Okay, fine. If you believe that prayer works, and that prayer is stronger than science, then I want you to pray that your light switch comes on instead of you flicking a switch. Because it's science that says if you flick this little plastic piece and it sends an electrical, electrical circuit and completes a circuit and then uses energy to create light. And you say, well, prayer does things. Then pray, for, pray instead of flicking a light switch. Because that light switch and the energy that powers the light bulb, that's science. That's not religion. That's not God. That's the process of science that allows us to do that. Okay? Now, take a machete, okay, and cut off your arm. Now, pray that your arm gets reattached. Because you know what? If my arm gets, gets sliced off, I'm not going to pray. I'm more likely to go to a doctor, because a doctor can reattach my arm. Okay? A doctor can reattach my arm. Prayer's not. Doctors can take people who have been amputated, okay, and then reattach that limb. Prayer doesn't. Nowhere in the Bible, or sorry, sorry, nowhere in recorded medical history has anyone miraculously regenerated an arm, okay? All the things that people say prayed and they got better were things they could have gotten better from on their own. Yes, you can fight cancer. Your own body can fight cancer. Your body has amazing healing properties, okay? There's always a statistical chance that you can get better from just about anything. However, Prayer is supposed to be a miracle. So if you if you say that, well, prayer doesn't work that way. No, it does. So if the only thing you're getting healed from is things that you could have healed from on your own anyways, then prayer isn't working. Okay? That's just basic statistics. That's that's not prayer. That's not religion. That's not God. Okay? Science has actually given us the ability, the scientific process has has allowed us to put a man on the moon, okay, and have the entire world watch. What has religion done? Religion, like the Catholic Church, has um, continued the spread of AIDS through its, through its religious beliefs. Those religious beliefs have affected a large portion of Africa, because they they brainwash these people into believing that they'll go to hell if they use a condom. They, they actually said that using a condom is just as unethical as aborting a baby. Yes, a woman having an abortion is just as unethical as wearing a condom. Do you really think God gives a rat's ass what you put on the end of your cock? I, I, I don't think so. I really don't think that a being that knows and understands everything gives a rat's ass. I really don't. I don't think he cares half as much about, uh, you know, if this person exists. If this person really exists and, and God's name was love and God was all-knowing and everywhere and all the things they make claims about him, if this was true, I don't believe an enlightened being would care what you put on the end of your penis. It doesn't slight God in the least, okay? It doesn't actually affect anything. And if a little condom can stop the will of God then your God isn't very powerful. I, I, I'm sorry to say, but if a little piece of rubber or plastic or whatever can, can, can thwart your God's divine ultimate plan, it's not a very ultimate or divine plan, is it? Just think about that for a second. This is some of the absurdity of people's religious beliefs. And this, 
this, well, if science can't explain this, then my religion is right, is bullshit. It really is. And this is why. Because science is demonstrable. If you don't believe in science, how the fuck are you watching this goddamn video? Okay? This isn't a magic box you're looking through, which was which appeared because God willed it to appear, okay? Someone who understood the scientific process, who challenged what we currently know at the time, and made something miraculous, okay? Television is an amazing device. Right now, on my television, which is connected to my computer, okay, I can call my brother, who also has a webcam, and we can be looking face-to-face, -face, no matter how many miles away we are, through the process of science. This is the benefit of science, okay? Now, can I get on a prayer rug? By the way, I got sent another one of those things. You know, since I made my prayer rug video, I've gotten like five or six of those in the mail. Since then, I've made these videos making fun of the prayer rug, and they keep sending it to me. Why? Because it's a money-making scam, which a lot of religious bullshit is. Okay, this creationist crap that I keep hearing about, this is just so they can have people in the pews giving them money and giving money to the Republican Party and all this other bullshit. Because the Republican Party is trying to be synonymous with godly. Now, now explain this to me. Please, 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 because it's absolutely ridiculous. These people told me that they were voting for Bush to fight Roe versus Wade. Bush doesn't want to have that overturned. No Republican wants Roe versus Wade overturned because the moment that's overturned, people will stop voting for them. They wanted to do that so they could save infant lives. Now think about this for a minute. If they're saving infant lives, what about all the lives we lost while he was fighting some dipshit war in Iraq? He tried to make Iraq synonymous with the Taliban, which they had nothing to do with each other, okay? Absolutely nothing. The Taliban were not in Iraq because Saddam Hussein was a power-hungry madman. Power-hungry madmen do not share their power. They covet their power. Okay? That little side note, of, you know, um, aside, how many people died in the Iraqi war? How many people? Think about that. And you're gonna, you, you, you're gonna only on a wing and a prayer that you'd get Roe versus Way overturned, so that some babies can be born. Well, I got news for you: more people and more babies were killed in Iraq than you'll have saved through through making abortion illegal. And believe me, people will still have abortions, but it'll be more dangerous for the fetus as well as themselves. We know because we've seen this happen. Every single time you say, well, my religion says that this is bad, and people try to enforce that religious belief on people, you have seen some dark things in society, and people get more turned over by it than anything. And it's, it's, it's not good results. It does more harm than good. Just like prostitution in America today, a bunch of religious nut jobs made, it, made brothels illegal in this country. Or it used to be legal everywhere. Now it's only legal in places like uh, Nevada. Not even Vegas. It's not legal in Vegas, but if you go like two hours outside of Vegas, it's legal. Okay? Now, women get abused, raped. They, they have to go to pimps, which, you know, to, to protect them from these things. And these pimps try to keep them on drugs so they can control their lives. Now, if prostitution was legal, we'd be seeing people paying more taxes. We wouldn't, see, you know, we wouldn't see these women you know, abused and tossed to the side. The women become prostitutes a lot of the times, especially in society, because it's the only trade that they've got. But by making it illegal, it makes it so much more dangerous. It wouldn't be dangerous if it was legal. But people have religious um, problems with this, and so they, they feed their problems with the thing and make it a physical problem for somebody else. Um, I, I really am strong in the belief that your religious beliefs should only affect you and yours, not me and mine. Leave my, what I do in my bedroom is none of your goddamn business. I don't care what your religious beliefs are. You know, how I, how I treat other people, it's not your business unless you don't like the way I'm treating you, okay? 
you know, if I was a homosexual or if I was an atheist or if I was any of these things you don't like, it's none of your fucking business and you have no right to tell me what I can do with my life. Just like I have no right to tell you what you can do with yours. But this argument that it's my religious belief and science can't prove everything. You know what? Science doesn't have to prove anything. All it has to do is prove that it has some use, some function, and that it can do some things because your religious beliefs haven't been shown to be able to do anything. Even organizations that are religiously biased but do scientific studies on prayer have found out that it works less than statistical average. Which I have respect for. I have respect for that this religious organization did this research and then published their papers and their real results and said, we can't show that prayer has any real effect. Prayer may have an effect, but until you can prove that, it's just your belief. And your belief is meaningless to me. It really is. Just like my religious belief should be meaningless to you, unless I can show you that there's, that there's a logical reason to follow it outside of some fear. All right, and that's all I have to say on that. Enjoy.